Good morning, beautiful people of the world. Good morning, good morning. Happy Friday. I don't even have to tell y'all because y'all already know. You can say it with me. I'm running late. <laughs> I'm gonna get it together, y'all. I'm gonna get it together. Anywho, good morning. Happy Friday. Um, it's 6.27. Gotta be at work at 7. Mm. Also, I did not figure this out. My, I want to give a huge shout out because I know she watching to my 35 year classmate, friend, comrade, uh, YouTube, uh, uh, sis, uh, content creator, my best buddy, Miss Dorcia who called me last night to tell me how to change this video so that I don't look like I'm over here on the passenger side and I look like I'm here on the driver's side. So her daughter has an iPhone, so she asked her daughter and her daughter said that I had um, the setting in my camera to um, something of mirror, mirror, so that's why it was looking odd and looking weird. I couldn't figure it out. Y'all know I got a brand new phone who, that I'm still learning. Now I've had an iPhone for many, 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 many years, but when you get a new phone, it do different crap. Like I can't, I, I can't plug my Bluetooth, my phone up to my Bluetooth in my car. I don't know what that's about. I had Googled it, I went on YouTube um, to, to figure it out. Still can't figure it out, but I'm gonna I'm get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I was talking to a friend last night. He was trying to help me. It won't work. But I'm gonna figure it out. Anywho, um, I wanted to um come on and say Happy Friday. The sun, as you see, is shining brightly like a diamond, honey. It's shining brightly. Um. My good friend, Miss Dorcia, has a YouTube channel over here. You guys, she is always helping me. She's always <laughs> telling me. Um, she's very, she's very smart, very knowledgeable. I ain't that smart. I don't figure shit out. Okay, you ask me something about fashion. You ask me something about some makeup, or some eyelashes. I can take anything. But when they come to technology, what? Baby, I ain't, mm -mm. that ain't my strong point. I'm just telling you now, it ain't. So she's always calling me or texting me and saying, call me when you have a moment. When I know she called me, I'm like, oh crap, I am messed up. Well, she gotta tell me what I need to do. She keeps me grounded and she don't have me out here looking stupid. That's a friend. Cause you know, some people, they content creators like you, right? Because you know you can you can be friends with other content creators and they won't tell you stuff because they be hoping that you're gonna look stupid you know and don't tell you and so she always let me know sis you need to do this sis you need to change that and you need to, you know she she has my back and I, I love her and with that being said she is a content YouTube content creator like myself and y'all Y'all sleeping on Miss Dorcia. Cause baby girl got it going on. And I ain't saying that because I've been knowing her. I went to high school with her. We partied. Me and her, she and I, we love us some house music. Baby, we get to the end. Um I've known her since I was a teenager. And now we grown. But y'all need to go over and check her out. Go check her channel out. It's Miss Dorcia. I will link her channel in this video, either in the comment section or in the description. 
go check her out. She's very, very close to hitting a thousand YouTube subscribers. And we need to get her to a thousand and we need to get her monetized so she can make some callings in these YouTube streets because her content is fire. It's fire. She's a plus size girl like me. She's a thick sis like me. You know, she's a thick one. Tall, plus size woman. You know, most plus size women are tall and, and, and you know, voluptuous. She's all that. Her content is fire. And this this lady, <laughs> Dorcia, love her some coffee, baby. I don't even drink coffee. I drink coffee, but I don't drink coffee like she drink coffee. You ever watch her videos, her reels of her? She's on Facebook. She's on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, I do believe. I'm sorry, I gotta put these glasses on. Ooh. Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And so she does these reels of her when she's drinking this coffee. Baby, she will make anybody, and this is what being a good influencer is, is when you can have somebody look at your content and want to buy or try or say, man, she makes that coffee look so good. I'm gonna go get me some coffee today. And I have done that a few times looking at her channel. Like I said, I am not a huge coffee drinker. But the way she sipped this coffee and the way she be around and dancing and talking about that first sip of coffee, what it do for her, you gonna want to drink some coffee. I'm just saying. So check her out. Subscribe to her channel. Turn on your bell notification. Leave her a comment. Let her know that CC, CC's fashion is my passion. Sent you if you do subscribe. But let's hurry up. That's it. Because she's a she's a beautiful person inside and out. Just beautiful. She and I, we have always clicked. Always clicked. And she was she was a, um, a majorette in high school. She just, you know, how some people from high school, from grammar school, from being a kid to high school to college to adulthood, they always the same. She's always been the same and always been you know, energetic and, you know, she'll get out on the dance floor, she'll dance by herself, she don't care, you know, but that's who she is and I just want to um, help her. She's been on YouTube for a while, but as she said, and when I said, she did not take YouTube seriously like I didn't and now she's doing this full time and so I want her to get some coins in her pocket. There's coins to be made over here. You know, it's coins to be made. So subscribe to her channel, Miss Dorcia. And I am not going to spell her name because I don't want to mess it up. But I'm going to link her channel and you can go over there and subscribe and you can help her get to a thousand. Let's get her past a thousand because she's very close. Okay. And she does drop content on the regular. But now that I've said all of that, thank you, Dorcia, for helping me get this video together because Brenda was emailing me, inboxing me, like, CC, what is going on with that video? You look like you in the passenger side. Girl, what is going on? She said, this, I'm looking at you, the video on TV, and it just looks strange. And Brenda's another one, honey. If my hair got a strand on the other side, she gonna email me an inbox and say, Cece, what is going on? That's one of my subscribers, okay? I love me some Brenda. Maybe Brenda be on it. Brenda say she is my fan. And yeah, Brenda be, Brenda, Brenda gonna get Cece together. She, she another one. Um, she, said, she said in her message, I don't know I get on your nerve. When I be um, saying this and saying that, and I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I read comments and people just be complaining about what they want me to do or what they think I should do or why you didn't do it like this or whatever, whatever. And sometimes I can't, I can't, I can't. I, I, I just, you know what I'm saying? But there are some subscribers that I know that they, and Brenda is one of them, I know that it's from the heart and that she is it's not um to be malicious or negative or mean it's that's not it she just she wants me to be the best at this and so i brenda thank you thank you for letting me know because i have not been cognitive or aware
aware, I should say, of that it looked different. Um, so what you saw, Miss Dorcia saw, um, and, and she heard me mention it yesterday, and apparently somebody else saw what you saw, but I couldn't see what y'all was saying. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for uh, letting me know that I really appreciate you and I appreciate your continued support. And for all of you all that support me, I know who means what they mean from their heart. And I know there's some people on here that just don't like CC and, you know, just want to be negative all the time when it comes to me. You know, they got a, you know, they got a hate, a, they got a love-hate relationship with me. You know, they like me, but they don't like me. And y'all know I'm here. But, you know what I'm saying. Um, they got a love-hate relationship with me. You know, they think that I'm their personal entertainer. Or I'm their, you know, it's like they need CC. They need some CC. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, and this happens to me in my everyday life with people. Not on YouTube, but my everyday life. I have people just pulling, pulling pulling at me all the time and that's why I had told you all a month or so ago I had to I had to cut some folks I had to cut that umbilical cord I had to let them go because it wasn't good for me and when it ain't good for me see y'all you enjoy me but I want to enjoy you too you know there ain't no this ain't no one sided thing now I don't need you know I'm not just your sounding board I need to have sounding board too so you know um you know, and it's the same way on my OnlyFans. You know, a lot of the men have left because I have not produced any content, and I'm okay with that. You know, you know, y'all, I'm okay with that. Let me tell you why I'm okay with that because they were so damn needy. They thought I was their personal stripper. You know, their personal sex toy, whatever. But whatever they woman and they wife or their girlfriend wasn't giving them, they thought that I, you know, I was it. You know, and they they wanted me to, you know, do all this stupid stuff, and I don't do the things that I was 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 being requested of me to do. I don't do that in for a man that I'm sleeping with. I'm just gonna keep it 100. I don't. I don't do that. What do you think I'm gonna do that for you? And you wanna give me a ten dollar tip? Anywho, so let me talk. Tell, let me tell you all this real quick before I get to my destination, the plantation work. Um, yes, okay, let me just say this. I told you all at the beginning of the year that I was taking on a new leaf, right? And so if you've been watching me, you know what it is. We're going to say it together. One, two, three. I don't go back and forth with people on social media platforms. I said I was taking on a new leaf, right? Do y'all remember? I said it's 2023. I said I'm not arguing with folks on YouTube. I'm not arguing with folks. You know, I'm not going back and forth. I'm going to do what? Say it with me. I'm going to block people, right? And I, I told y'all that, right? So I've been doing really, really well because, you know, when you're on social media, any type of internet, social media, you know, thing, YouTube, Instagram, you know what I'm saying, Facebook, whatever, you ha and you're a content creator, and you're putting out content, or just your, just everyday posts on Facebook, people always want to come at you, especially people that never comment or like Them are the ones who always want to give you the 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 worst type of flag, right? So day before yesterday, I'm in a Facebook group. I'm not gonna mention the group. I'm in a group. Now I do not post in groups. I don't post my personal business. I don't advertise my channel. I don't do any of that. I basically just read what other people say. People put up funny memes or funny stories or situations and I comment. I never post, okay? I stopped posting in Facebook groups years ago because I find Facebook groups honestly to be very messy, very clickish, um, all that, okay? That's my opinion. 
everybody trying to f everybody everybody trying to suck somebody off i mean it's just it, to me it's, it's just that's they're all the same I, I've, I've never been in one that wasn't messy okay this facebook group i've been in this group for a while the girl who is the uh uh, started the group. She and I are cool. We friends or whatever. But I never post in that group. Never. And it's because of past situations. So, one of the guys is an administrator who's real, real cool. I like him. He's real funny. He keeps the group going by doing, you know, funny stuff. So, he had wrote a post and he said, what happened to the days of uh, Dorsey? Yeah, I know you're watching it. You probably need to, we need to do a podcast about this girl. Um, what happened to the days, in other words, or see if this could be a good topic for your next podcast, okay? So what happened to the days where women gave back rubs when men got home from work and made lunches for their man? You know, made their man's lunch when he went to work. Um, what you know, I the, the, the key was saying what happened to those days? Women ain't giving back rubs no more, and they ain't making lunches. Okay, I can't remember word for word what the post all the post was, but it was very, it was a very short snippet post, a couple of lines, but it was something to, to on that left, on that in that area. So my comment was, and like about seven or eight people liked my comment. I said, we're still here. I said, and I'm paraphrasing, because I can't remember everything I said. I said, but women are out working like men, doing men jobs. And we need our back rub and we need our lunches made. I said, but if you allow me to stay at home and only you are the, I didn't say this, but this is what I meant. If I'm able to stay at home and be the, and, and be the housewife, okay, that my mother and your mother and your grandmother, and your great grandmas were, I can do, I said, I can do all of that and then some, okay. Now, let me be clear about something. We are in 2023 where the economy is not like it was in 1960, 1970, 1980, or 1990, okay? It's different. Food is sky high. Rent is high. Everything is high. It's giraffe coochie. Everything, okay? And with that being said, you need almost four incomes, not two, four. You need his, yours, the your, your, your son or your daughter. They teenage, you need, they need to be working almost a full-time job in order to be able to pay all of this high cost of living prices. So, as usual, there's always one. Slow. Don't comprehend. Don't read. Mofo. Always one. Sometimes it's two. But usually it's one. Now, apparently, the eight people that read my comment, in, including... Who this head itch? Including... The person who wrote it, everybody understood what I said and what I was saying. If I, as a woman, have to go out here and work a job as hard as a man work, and I can't stay at home, and I can't cook and make lunches, pack lunches, and, and, uh, I can't stay at home and pack lunches and I can't stay at home to make sure y'all your clothes is washed and and I can't you know sex you real good at night you know because I'm tired because I've been up since four 
because I've gone out here and I've walked 23 alleys dumping garbage. I've had rats jump on me from dumping garbage. I've been out here in this heat. I've been out here in the rain. I've been out here sliding down alleys in the, in the and I'm just talking about what I did, okay, for 10 years. This is what, this is the job that I had for 10 years. For 10 years, I was a garbage laborer. I worked behind a nasty, stinky, smelly, grimy, rat, maggot, dog, shit, juice, human shit, juice, human vomit, flies, bees, you name it, I saw it. Only thing I never experienced, thank you, Jesus, was I never saw a dead body. Never found a dead body in the garbage. Okay? But there has been people here that work here for the city, work, you know, work here um, at this job that have found dead bodies. Okay? So if I'm doing the same, if I'm doing that kind of a job, that doesn't mean that I can't come home and be a wife to you. I can. But understand this. Understand this. I cannot be the type of wife that my mother was to my father. Or I cannot be the type of wife that my grandmother was to my, my grandfather. I cannot be the type of wife that my great-grandmother was to my great-grandfather because I'm out here getting it like you getting it. I might be out here even getting it even more than you getting it. So now you want me, after I've worked, after I've worked eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours out here getting this, this and I'm just using my job, the, the job that I had as an example. You want me to go out here and you want me to now come home, cook dinner, wash, clean, spread it, spread, spread them like, like eagles, be freaky, jump from one side of the bed to the next, put on the sexy lingerie, be your, your personal stripper, whore, whatever. Cause ain't nothing wrong with being a hoe for your man, being freaky for your man, your man, not somebody else's, yours. You want me to do that? You want to have sex five nights a week, regardless if my back is hurting, regardless if my head is hurting, regardless if my my legs are hurting or my knee is hurt. Cause I ain't climbed up in a garbage truck all day long, and I ain't climbed out of a garbage truck, and I have I have done twenty six alleys. Cause I've done it. 26 alleys in one day. My feet hurt and my back hurt. And I want a back rub. And I want you to make my lunch. Because guess what? We getting up at the same time, bruh. 4 a.m. Because we both got to be at work at 6. And we both walking at the, out the door together to go work. Because I'm coming. And my check, my good check, is coming home to help you pay this mortgage pay this rent, pay this car insurance, the light, the gas, take care of the babies, take care of buying groceries, going to Sam's Club, making sure we got enough paper towels and toilet paper to last us the whole month until we go back again. Is anybody with me? So, having said that and gave you those examples, this one mofo got on and he wanted to challenge me about what I said. Let me turn this light off. How you gonna challenge me? I want y'all to understand something. Women ain't never wanted to do what a man do. Most women wanna be home and look pretty and, and have you come in and they say, hey honey, hey baby, how was your day? And you know, help you get up out your work clothes and have your bath water ready, have a, the dinner ready and, your, and your, your clothes washed, your work clothes for the next day. I know we don't live in that type of world no more, but that's the kind of world we used to live in. I know it has changed, but please don't ask me to do something for you that you can't do for me when I'm out here getting it like you getting it. I'm helping you 
and I'm helping me and I'm helping us. I'm helping the family, even if it's just me and you. Okay, even if it's just me and you, let's just say we ain't got no babies. Let's just say our kids are grown, but guess what? We still out here getting it. Okay, because me and you got to live up in this piece and we got to make sure our finances are intact. Right? So this dude wanted to challenge me. He said, I don't understand. He said, I don't, he said, he said, what did he said, why you got to stay at home? Why you got to stay at home in order to give me a back rub and make me a, me a homemade lunch? I'm not saying that a woman can't make you a homemade lunch and she work. I'm not saying that a woman that at work can't give you a back rub. What I said was we want and we need that too, because we're here, we're out here getting it like you're getting it. And because I work like you work, because I know people, I know a couple who both of them work behind a garbage truck. They marry. And I'm just using that as an example, okay? But if I'm out here making bread to take care of the finances in this household, then do not expect me to come home and, and do all of that. Because you might get it and you might not get it. And if you're mad because you can't get it or you ain't getting it, then we need, need to reevaluate the situation. What role do you want me to play? And I understand as women, we still got to be wives like men still got to be men. But if, if, if you've never did a labor, a hard ass job, like the one I had for 10 years, you don't even understand what I'm talking about. And let's just say you're not a labor. Let's just say you don't have never did that job. The fact that you're getting up and go into somebody's place of business, okay? You still tired, okay? And but what I did is a little bit more, you know, it's extreme, it's an extreme example because I can only speak for what I've done for the last 10 years, okay? And I still had to come home and be a mama to a little boy. And thank God I had my mother and I had my father. Thank God I had a mother who retired, who was retired and who could cook him meals because I'm, I did not, I, I didn't cook, okay? Because when I came home off of that garbage truck and to be at work from six, at six o'clock, I had to get off at 2.30. And if it was a holiday, I had to work the day after we had the holiday off, the rest of the week, I had to work 10 to 12 hours to make sure that them routes was done. And the reason why I worked like that was because I didn't have a husband. The reason why I took that job was because I didn't have a man who was helping me take care of his child. I, me, I'm the provider. I'm the sole provider for my house. There's not been a man in my house paying not one bill for the last 10 years. Hasn't been a man in my house paying the bills since Chris has been in the world before he even got here. That's a whole nother story about that cheap bastard, that non-working bastard, okay, who still don't work. And Chris is 15. So I never wanted to work a job like that. But you all know my story. I got laid off from my office job and I took this job because I had been laid off for two years and I need to provide for my child. And as a woman, we do what we have to do to take care of our family, whether we got a husband or not, because that's what we do. I ain't talking about these, I ain't talking about these women, these new women that's out here, you know, shaking their ass, twerking or getting $40, a $40 holla. I'm talking about us women who was raised by mothers and grandmothers and great-grandmothers to know how to take care of their family. I'm talking about us. I ain't talking about this new, new, these new millenniums or this new generation, okay, who don't want to work. But I'm talking about us that was born from 1950 to 1970. So he didn't understand what I said. He wanted to argue with me. He wanted to go back and forth with me. I don't get because of what you're saying don't make no sense. Why you got to stay home in order to give me a back rub? And why you got to stay home in order to make my lunch? Well, I need to be at home 
Because if you're looking for me to do certain amenities, I need to be at home to do that and not out here working like a Hebrew slave and doing the job as a man that you should be doing. So what I took from his comment was that he's never, he doesn't understand the role and what a woman who's supposed to take care of her household is supposed to do. Now, let me give you all a quick little story and then I'm going to get off of here. Now, I'm going to tie this into why I said about staying home. My mother and father were married 50 years, would have been married 50 years, 50 years had he not passed. They were married 49 years when he died. He died in October of 2016. They made 50 years, would have made 50 years January, um, January 26, 2016 of the next year. My father worked at a furniture company when I was a little girl, Stephen, Stephen Baddings Furniture Company. My father worked. My mother did not work. They had two children, me and my sister. My sister is older. My sister's three years older than me. My mother and father bought a home when I was I was born in February. We moved into the house that my mother now lives in, that she has lived in for 53 years. Um, they bought that house. Uh, moved, we moved into that house in April. I was born in February. Okay, so you can do the math of the weeks, of the weeks of how old I was. I've never lived anywhere else until I moved out and got my own apartment. I lived in that house from the time I was two months old up until the time I was 36 years of age. I never lived nowhere else. We never moved. Okay? Lived in the same place. My mama still lived there. So, my father worked for a company, a furniture company. As I said, he was a mover. This is why when I worked behind a garbage truck, I knew how to get couches, pick up couches and beds because I watched my father. Okay? So, I, I knew how to do that. Men were impressed that I knew how to move furniture in them alleys. I knew how to move furniture because my father taught me and I watched my father move furniture. I, I would watch him move people in all the time. So, <clears throat> my mother stayed at home. My mother stayed at home for nine years. My mother did not go to work until I was nine years old. As a little girl, I watched my mother take care of her husband. My mother would be on the phone with her girlfriend. She'd be talking, hey. Blah, 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 blah. When my daddy backed that car up in that driveway, my mom was, would say this to her girlfriend. Okay, girl. Well, yeah, girl. Kurt home, girl. My mother's name is Diane. My father's name was Curtis. Yeah, girl. She called him Kurt. Yeah, Kurt. Kurt home, girl. All right, girl. I'll talk to you tomorrow. And she had all day to chit-chat and hee-hee-ha with her girlfriends while she was washing, while she was cleaning, and while she was cooking. She cooked every day. She washed every day. She cleaned. This is what I saw my mother do. My father would come in. Hey, hey, they would talk, they would talk. My mama would fix his plate. I'll wait. My mama would fix his plate and his, 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 his towel, his underwear, his socks, his t-shirt was already in the bathroom, folded up where he was going to go take his shower. His work clothes was clean. She had it all folded up. All he had to do was go grab stuff. She paid the bills. And let me tell you what my daddy did. My father got paid every Wednesday. Don't ask me how I remember this. He got paid once a week. My father would come in on every Wednesday. And every Wednesday we had goddamn nasty ass liver. Okay? That's how I associated him getting paid because my mama would fix liver and rice and onions on Wednesday. I hate liver to this day. I'm, I'm having some flashbacks from my childhood about food. That's why I have a funny relationship with food because you know back in the day your mama and them used to eat them peas and all that. I hate peas 
to this day. Green, them little green peas, I hate them. When I see them in the store, I wanna just throw every bag up against the wall and bust them MF because I missed a lot of playtime because I had to sit there and eat them damn peas. But I digress. I need therapy for that too. Anyway, every Wednesday, he would bring his check home. His money, he lay it on the dining room table. Then my mother, she take the money. She, my mother would give him money for himself, and then she would take the money and figure out what they were, you know, how they were gonna pay the bills. My mother went back to work when I was nine years old. She went back to school. She obtained a associate's degree and a bachelor's degree. After she got these two degrees, she decided to go out and work. Okay. It is apparent to me that a lot of men do not understand what their role is as a man and as a provider. And as I said, we're living in a totally different generation and a different time than my parents. You didn't need as much and things were not as high as they are now. But what you have to understand now that we are in this, this time is that I cannot do and be all of that that my mother was in 1970, okay, when I was born. I was born in 1970. I cannot be that woman that my mother was in 1970 because to 19, she went to 1970, she went back to work when I was nine. So that was from 1970 to 1979, okay? I can't be Diane. I can be a fracture of her, but I can't be her. I can't be her. And I'll probably never get a Kurt, a Curtis. Because times are not the same. So men still want us to be Diane. And women still want a Curtis. But Diane and Curtis don't exist no more because things have changed. Can we do some things like Diane? Can we do some things like Curtis? Of course we can. But we can't do all that Diane and Curtis did because that don't exist no more. So when you don't understand the dynamics of what I'm talking about, men, you need to go back in time and rewind the tape and go talk to some folks who was a Diane and who was a Curtis and who, who lived like Diane and Curtis. So when you have this high expectation of what you think that I should do, guess what? I have a high expectations of what I think you should do. So you got to find some type of medium or come to some type of understanding that I want to do all of this like Diane did. Because I know my mama, she, you know, I mean, she didn't work. So she was able to probably put on the sexy lingerie and run, have him chase her around the room. Well, it's just the visual. But you all know what I'm saying because she was at home. And she was probably tired because she was with the kids, two, two kids, and cooking and cleaning. But it ain't the same type of tired when you and did 12 hours behind a goddamn garbage truck. When you and did any type of work and dealing with personalities from supervisors and co-workers, it ain't the same. So, Don't expect, don't expect for me to be Diane when you ain't providing Curtis. Understand what I'm saying? So he wanted to go back and forth, back and forth. So I blocked his ass because I realized in that moment that I was talking to somebody who was slow, somebody who had not seen, who had not experienced, what I experienced. And I just wasn't in the mood yesterday to go back and forth and explain. He wanted me to explain. Well, I don't understand him. Yeah, and, then when I, I, and I even tried to be nice. I said, well, I said, okay, you don't understand it. I said, you have a nice day. He came back. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because you don't even know what you're talking about. You can't even explain what you're talking about. Block! I ain't got time. And this is why I'm single. This is why I'm single. Because I will never 
probably get a Curtis. Not to say, I'm not trying to act like my daddy was perfect by no means. But the man that he was, the man, the provider, the you stay at home, I probably won't get that. I probably won't. I'm 53. The chances of me getting that is slim. Not saying that it can't happen, but it's slim. Okay? And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't have a problem being Diane, but uh, I don't really want to be her like that. And the reason why I don't is because I ain't found nobody worthy enough for me to be Diane. See, my mama was the real deal, Holyfield. My mama was the real deal. I don't have that in me. I don't have that kind of patience like that. You know what I'm saying? So maybe if I met the man who brought that out in me, I could be her. But I don't have no desire to be her because I ain't found nobody who want to be a Kurt. A Curtis. I ain't found that. So I said all that to say that we're in a different time. We're in different roles. But when you want to argue with me, it proved my point. I said, oh, I said he wanted out. He wanted out. I ain't finna argue with this motherfucker. I ain't finna argue with him. If you didn't grow up, if you didn't see that and you don't know what that looked like, I can't help you. I can't help you. Maybe you'll get it from somebody else, but you sure ain't gonna get it from me. So, I, y'all would be real proud of me. I just, I just hit the block button, kept it moving, because eight people liked what I said. Because eight people got what I was saying. I wasn't trying to put nobody down. I was just saying, we as women, we out here, we working like men, doing men jobs, and we need to, we, we, we want to give you that, but we can't, cause we're doing what you're doing. If we weren't doing what you was doing, we could give you that and we could give you more and, and then some. But how do I give you that and I'm working like you? That makes no sense. So anywho, y'all, and then Christopher asked me yesterday. He said, he said, you know what? He said, I want to ask you a question. He said, why are you single? Why are you single? And I told my baby, I said, you are. I said, Chris, you haven't been around me. You haven't seen me date me. You haven't seen what they have done. And I told him, I said, you know why I'm single? I said, because I have not met a man who can match my worthiness. He was like. And I said, I don't require a lot. I said, but the little that I ask for, I can't even get that. So why should I be bothered? I said, I'm good to myself. I said, I'm damn good to me. Why would I get with another person who can't be good to me as I'm good to myself? I'm real good to me. Real, real good to me. So why would I get with somebody who ain't going to be good to me as I am good to myself? That don't make sense. Ain't that backwards? I'm good to me, but I'm going to let somebody else come in and treat me bad. Mm -mm. Anyway, y'all, I got to go. Y'all have a good Friday. I love y'all. Hopefully, I'll see my, my my lingerie from Shein did come in. So hopefully, I will see, I will see if I can get this video Um. I'm gonna see if I can I can film it on Sunday. I'm gonna see. We'll see what's gonna go happen with my apartment. Okay, y'all. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Leave me a comment in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about, girl. I just that's have a discussion about this because anyway. All right, y'all. Have a good day. Bye. Peace and blessings. Bye.